This painting is called The Ridge, and I will be talking about the techniques I used, why I made it, what inspired me, and also the quality of prints, uh, how if you can't afford an original, how getting a high quality print uh, is, is okay. It, it still captures the vividness of the original. So I will talk about some drawbacks of a print versus the original as well. So this painting, The Ridge, was actually something I did for a competition here locally in Washington. And the competition called for a scene involving community, um, also something that uh, had local elements in it, uh, uh, keeping in mind too that they wanted to put this image on the side of a large uh, bus van um, that would be seen everywhere throughout town. So, you know, I've never done anything really like that before, but the gallery reached out to me and they said, hey, you should try to put something in. And I'm like, sure. So I didn't win it, so that's okay, because I'll tell you why. So anyway, the ridge is named after a ridge trail, the ridge trail here in Ellensburg, Washington, where I work and live. And in, in Ellensburg, where we are, we have a view of the Cascade Mountains that are is absolutely beautiful. We get amazing sunsets over these mountains. And when you do the ridge hike, you capture all that is amazing about this valley. The fact that it's farmland, it's usually green and irrigated fields. They rotate their field, their crops, so there's always something new. And the surrounding hill land, hills um, are beautiful when they're lit up by the, the evening sky. And also, of course, the Cascade Mountains and their unique shapes that they bring. So. When this competition was going on, um, I thought, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not inclined to uh, paint f people, pictures of people. So, so it wasn't something that, you know, when I think of community, I think of people. So I knew I was gonna have to incorporate some people in this, which I'm glad I did because I learned a lot. So if you look at this painting, um, first of all, it's like most of my other paintings, I did an acrylic pour um, for the background, and that's the sky. And the sky is really quite dramatic in this picture because it's very, it's very sunset orange, you know, crazy, crazy swirls in it, um, kind of depicting the clouds in the sky during a sunset, how they pick up all the colors of the sun. and. Um, it just, you know, it's, it has a, it plays a big part in this uh, painting. So your eye automatically goes to the sky, and after the sky, you usually see the mountains, which are reflecting the colors of the sky, but not as vividly. So they're a little more muted, and the, in the middle here are irrigated fields, and I have like sunflowers and wheat and hay, corn. Um, all these things that we grow in the valley, I, I kind of put a little plot of land for them here and with little bushes in between, because we have trees and bushes in between the, the plots of land. And so it's just visually interesting. And then for the ridge hike, it's on these, uh, these hills that are kind of like these on the other side of the valley. And so you get, once you go up the ridge, you have this beautiful view of the valley and the mountains. And so I have, uh, seven people um, kind of depicting different stages of life. Um, here we have a father and a daughter. Um, he's helping her up the ridge. It's not an easy hike for a lot of people, so um, they're helping, he's helping his daughter. And then we have a young family, a little, a little boy here, um, husband and wife helping their son up and he's helping his wife. I thought that was kind of nice. And also um, more of like a, a maybe a middle-aged woman who walked up there with her dad and he has a cane there. And we have a lot of very active older ones in the valley. And I, I see them when I make the hike, I see them up there hiking along with everyone else. So they're very active here. And cause there's a lot of hikers in Washington. So you know, they're not going to stop just because they're a little older. So 
I wanted to put somebody a little more older on the scene here too. So they're all, they all went up the ridge to see the sunset at night. And so that's, that's what happens here a lot. So that's what I thought would, would kind of um, speak to uh, the judges on the panel. But also I put here in this, um, this painting, I put the train, there's a tra we have trains going by all the time. So there's a little train and a tiny little bridge and the tracks here, and then there's a road that goes along the ridge. So it's all the little details I put in this painting. It was fun to do. Um, also, you know, the amount of color I put on it is, is a little unusual for me because I usually I don't go this wild on a painting as far as colors go, but I wanted it to be really eye-catching because if it's on a bus and it's huge, you want it, you, you can get away with kind of bolder colors. Um, because you know you want to draw attention that's why they want a painting done they want something unique going down the road and that calls attention to their business so I kind of went crazy with the color on this which was fun for me again I used acrylic pour like I said but I did the detail work in oils um, so again it, it gave me more opportunity to do blending of colors um, have more control true to color they won't dry darker like acrylics I've explained in my other videos that's why I do that and um, it's kind of an abstract uh, landscape, so nothing to be taken too extremely literally. That's why the, the shadows on the hills and stuff like that are very um, blocky as opposed to really blended and you see all rocks and everything. It's more like color blocks. So um, the, the fact that this is a print actually of the original because soon after the competition I sold the original so that's why I'm not upset about it. I spent a lot of time on this painting but I sold it right away um, after the competition so that, that was cool. So um, I only have prints available. So this is actually a print. So I, I do prints on uh, canvas, um, uh, have them done on canvas. So once a painting is done I figure out various sizes. Um, sometimes I can't always get it printed in a larger size. If the painting's already big to begin with, I can only go so much bigger um, size-wise, but I can always go smaller, and the smaller the print of a, of a painting, this, this was the original size of the original painting. Um, but if I went smaller, uh, smaller of this painting, the details would be sharper. So the original had, you could see a lot more details um, in the original and they get kind of a little like buffed, buffed away with a print. It's just the way the prints are. Um, you do your best, you take a really good quality image, but when the ink goes on the canvas, um, there's a little blurring. It's not dramatic blurring, but it's just enough to kind of take away the sharpness of an original. So if you want the sharpness of original, you go smaller and then you'll get a sh sharper image. So just to keep in mind for prints um, that I offer, bigger, bigger you go, the less of the detail work will be um, apparent. So anyway, so this is the ridge. Uh, it was fun to do, I really enjoyed it. Um, but I wanna give you an example of print work. So I hope you like it and I'll explain other prints I've done that are just print available, but in a different style so you can see how a smaller print uh, looks.